But what I had difficulty was those hole holes down there. So what's all this for? Um, I don't know. It looks like it um, smashes something, and it looks like these parts. Oh, it looks like these parts are replaceable. So it sits on a taper, and something might stick out, and it's got a bolt hole oh. back here. So I'm assuming it mashes something up. I did the same, I turn it one way than the other. Why? <coughs> I want to try and get something that I know that would be good to get it. I generally move much slower. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like this scanner can go to 140 PSPS, so almost like two and a half times the amount of time I'm getting into the depth of it. I'm really pushing this to try and get them. But again, not used to the depth of it. <laughs> we keep getting too far away. that hole there to see what it can do as far as kind of the scanner catching the markers with the side and getting that detail that I can't really like obviously I'm not gonna be able to scan that side of the hole because there's no markers. No markers there. Yeah. Yeah. But if I can get enough of that hole, I can still reverse engineer. I can yeah. slice through that and see that the hole's roughly this. I can compare it with my hand measurements. It's still enough to find the center line of the hole. Yeah. Do you mind if we look at the top? Sure. Okay. It got in there a lot better. Versus the HX. I can just tell it got, I can see. If the HX, yeah, yeah. The, the HX didn't really pick up any of the, um, the features. I noticed that it, so it could do that a lot better, mm -hmm. um, but it struggles with these ones more than the HX. Whoops, I don't know what I did. Yeah, so it struggles with picking up from the peripheral of its vision more than the HX, but at the same time, if it is pointed at it, it will 
get it much better than the HX. Maybe we can try the single hole feature on that part there, maybe on. Oh. So with this one on the HX, there was a few holes where I could actually get a good chunk of that wall and the backing of it. Because, because it has so much peripheral vision, I can really bring the scanner over and it, the scanner, the edge of the lines is catching enough markers that I can move over the scanner enough to actually get the bottom of the hole. Maybe it's shiny in there because I'm pretty sure it's a full machine. Yeah. Um, because its field of view is so wide and the lasers shoot so wide, I can move quite far off the park and get that in line and I'm still picking up markers to the right with the periphery of the lasers yeah. and it still work. What I'm curious for is the, uh, the top part, if you have to really get those bolt holes. Sure. It, it seems like its field of view is somewhere between the HD and the HX. And the HX. It's like in the middle. Because I remember how much stickers I used to have to use to use with the, the HD. I'll say um, HD is 200. 200. Mm -hmm. Like 200 by 300. Okay. More than 200. Well, you know, this axis cameras are kind of much closer than yeah. prestige, so we can capture more deep. So. Um, so this camera is just. 310 uh, by 240 minutes. Okay. I've had a few weird jobs like that where they wanted to scan inside something. So it just wasn't feasible. Obviously, this makes it a lot more possible depending on the situation. Maybe we can shoot to the core. See if we can get some. If I, I'm, I'm asking too much. <laughs> <laughs> we also want to try. Before. Yeah, just just to see. I, I thought I'd keep this one around because I knew there was some challenge. Oh, like we little. Have more I know. I know. There's. I thought this one was an interesting to keep because I finished it last week, but, but I, thought I want to hold on to it just so to mm -hmm. see what see what. It's Are be. you getting something there? Yeah. 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 Definitely.
got the angle. Scan. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Um, but yeah. Can we mesh it just so we can look at those threads? Sure. 